to, to do these fights? Or I mean, if you think about it, I got 28 fights. I've only fought it seven times. If you think about it, it's 21 times elsewhere. But I'm not going to apologize for fighting at home. Some guys fight exclusively at home and nobody says anything. But uh, so I'm trying to figure that out. That, that's, that's easy math. I fought here seven or eight times and I got 28 fights. But I'm not going to turn this into a, a pity party or nothing, but I've always been held to a different standard. It's just what it is. This guy can fight this level of competition. Oh my God, he's the next. I fight a Paul Smith. What is he doing? Why is he fighting Paul Smith? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, exactly. so we got. I got a. I got a. I got a. I got a dynamite team behind me. Antonio Leonard, Rock Nation, James Prince, Josh Dubin. I got a. I got a. I got. My team is together. All I gotta worry about is fighting. They're gonna do. They're gonna do their part. People are gonna write what they write. We're gonna be gracious to them. We're not gonna get caught up in, in the nonsense going back and forth. God bless you. Oh, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. We just gonna keep doing what we do because when it, when my time is up, I'm moving on to the next chapter of my life. You know, Floyd is doing what he's doing, and and we may never reach his pinnacle, but it's a lot of guys having great careers in between there, making building legacies making great livings, affecting people's lives, role models, you know, getting out of bad situations and boxing gave them a better life. So it, I, I know Floyd set the bar high. Just appreciate that. But man, in between that's a lot of good stuff going on. It's a lot. I mean, look at Broner and, and, and uh, Sean Paul. I mean, those guys, they risk a lot tonight putting that on the line. Same thing me and Chad Dawson did. Like, I just came off the Super 6. I could have parlayed that for a little bit, but I went and fought him and he fought me and you know what I'm saying? So it's great things happening in the sport, and I think we just need to look at that and appreciate it. Just appreciate it.